solve the differential equation by separation of variables. So we have uh, two variables here, one is n and the other one is t. So it's dn over dt plus n is equal to n times t raised to e raised to t plus 2. Uh, so let's bring this n over to the other side. So we subtract n both sides. So we have dn over dt is equal to n times t times e raised to t plus 2 minus n. So this can be rewritten as dn over dt is equal to n times t times e raised to t plus 2 minus 1. And now the variables can be separated. So we do a cross multiplication. So n comes over uh, to the denominator over to the other side. And this dt goes over to the other side. So this term remains as it is and this is multiplied with dt. And this can now be, uh, okay, we will write one more term by segregating. Uh, by segregating uh, uh, the parentheses over to the right side. So uh, by opening up the parentheses, we can get t times e raised to t plus 2 dt minus dt. And this can further be written as t times e raised to t times e raised to 2 because the, uh, as per the properties of exponents, e raised to a plus b can be written as e raised to a times e raised to b. So e square comes out and the rest of the terms remain as it is. Uh, this can now be integrated uh, both sides. So if we integrate this, there are three terms to be integrated. Uh, and uh, this becomes dn over n. And e square is a constant, so that can be taken out. So e square times e, uh, e square integration of t times e raised to t dt minus dt. So this is a multiplication of two different functions. We've got to use the... Uh, uh, integration by parts. So this is the first term. This is the second term. So this can be written as uh, this remains as dn over n e square remains out. So this becomes first term is as it is integration of e raised to t is e raised to t minus integration of differentiation of t is just one integration of e raised to t is e raised to t and this should be again integrated minus integration of dt. Uh, now, finally, we're going to integrate everything. So, dn over n integration is natural log of n. e square is as it is. t e raised to t is as it is. And integration of e raised to t is again e raised to t minus integration of dt is t plus the constant of integral is c. So, if you want to rewrite it, rewrite it we can do that. And finally, we can uh, rewrite it as a natural log of n is equal to e raised e square e raised to t can be taken out, e raised to t, we are left with t minus 1 minus t plus c. And uh, the, the two exponents can be clubbed together just like it was initially. So this is e raised to t plus 2 times t minus 1 minus t plus c, which is the final answer. Thank you.